everyone. Kick off your socks and let's just get at it, okay? So I have had a crazy morning so far. Totally not the way I had planned it going, but here we are nonetheless, okay? We're gonna do a lower body workout. For everyone that is going to be watching and doing on the replay, thank you so much. And if you find my videos valuable, please do me a favor and click the share button. I would truly be grateful. I'm gonna turn my music down just a little bit. Get your water bottle ready. Sometimes when my music is too loud, I get blocked here up on Facebook and Instagram too. So, okay, today you're gonna need a band. If you don't have a band, it's okay. I would highly suggest if you are one that wants to work your derriere and your quads and all the things and have a little bit of extra something something, then get some of these bands. This is the Spark brand, S-P-A-R-Q. You can order it on Amazon and then there's also the Skills brand which I suggest as well. They're really durable. The other ones are kind of flimsy. If you get like a 10 pack from Amazon, they're not so great in my opinion. Um, so anyhow, we're going to use this. We're going to use a dumbbell. Let's just keep it at that. Let's just keep it very simple today. Um, quite honestly, I don't know what we have in store. I just do what comes to me, what I'm feeling. So drop some love in the comments for everyone to have a fantastic day. I know not many of you can do this right now because you're probably at work, but all the more reason to tune in and save this for later, my friends. I'm just gonna get everything ready to go. Okay, so we're gonna do a couple walkouts. Legs straight, walk it out, drop those hips, pick it up. So today's gonna be both quad and hamstring focused, but mainly with an emphasis on the glutes. So all my ladies love working the booty. And my girl, Jody, I should have tagged Jody. She and I were doing this lower body workout. She has been asking me for a recorded version of my glute back-to-back -back bridge set. So, if you guys hang out until the very end of the video, or at least come back, it'll be about a 45 minute workout, then I'll have that at the end, requiring no body weight, okay? So just do a few floor touches, tilt the pelvis up. No one needs to pull out their back, pull a hamstring. Remember dynamic stretching at the very beginning. More static stretching, which is holding at the end. Okay? Um, we're going to start weightless with this band up over our knees. And again, you know I like to be barefoot. Okay, I'm watching my timer. We're doing 30 second pulses, 30 second full range, 30 second jump squats. Ready? Go. Pulse it. Remember, we're sitting back in our heels. Pulsing is not super fast, it's just slowing down the movement. Remember that. Don't just speed through your pulses. Okay, full range. Remember, as you're doing this, you're pushing your knees out. Chilly outside. Feels good in the garage though. Working out in a little chill. It's not so sweltering hot. It's kind of our warm up here. Ready? Jump squats. Just real soft on that jump. You don't need to be jumping real high. But remember, shifting body weight from the heels up through the toes. Ten seconds. Now the burn's kicking in. Five, four, three, two, pulse it. Woo, buddy. If I 
like that burn. Going ten seconds. Eight, seven, six, three, two, one. Oh my gosh, one more set. Burning. Woo! Body weight in those heels. Holy moly. Oh, that burn. Cheating. Ten seconds. Ah, oh, three, two, full range. Oh my goodness. Now you see why I don't use the bands very often on the lives. We lost our music. That's right. I'll get it when the set is done. Ten seconds. Six, five, four, three, two, hop it up. Last set of these, you guys, don't cheat. Heels to toes. Oh my God, this is miserable without music. Someone sing for me. Five, four, three, two, woo! Ho! Keep it on, keep it on, keep it on. Get some water. Get some water. Turn that music back on. Actually, no, I take off. Okay, we'll put it back on later. Take it off. I don't know what's going on here. I don't know what's going on. I don't like when the music stops, though. I tell ya. All right. Here we go. We always go back to the same playlist, my friends. Always go back to the same playlist. Oh my gosh. Woo! I haven't used bands in so long. All right. Lacey is in the house. Okay. All right, my friends. We're going to use the step. You are going to use not too heavy. Come here, baby. Come here, I'll get it for you. Can you say hi to everyone? Come here, Mom. She's not feeling too well today, my friend. I get the other movie. Let's keep moving, everyone. What do you want? I know what we want. You want to show us a check in? Show us a check in. All right. Okay, I'm going to grab the 25, we'll give that a try, okay. right foot up, and then hold the dumbbell with your left hand. Now what you're going to go, what you're going to do, you're going to go back slightly at an angle, dipping, and back up. Okay, so all the focus is on that right glute. Okay, you want to sit down here? Okay. Okay, okay. You either gotta turn that volume down or you gotta go in the other room, baby. Okay? Here, let me try to 
Body weights in this heel. Five, four, three, two, one. Notice that my foot is slightly turned. You're going to feel your glute and your inner thigh a lot more that way than straight on. When you have your feet straight on, whether you're doing step up squats, whatever movement, straight on is going to be more quad focused if you did not know. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Five more. Four, three, two, one. Woo! Woo! All right. You gonna do the other side? There. All right. She might be equivalent. I think she's equivalent to the thirty-five. Let's do it. If you have your kid, do it this way. Two, three. Four, five, six, Jumps, you gotta see. 
15. Oh, she's making me work hard. Hey, you gotta get up. Ah. Sometimes you don't have a choice, friends. That's why having babies is a good thing for you. Sometimes you just don't have a choice. You just gotta hold them. You gotta add them to the weight routine. Woo! All right. You wanna hear this? You wanna do this way? No, you gotta get like this. Taken over by toddler. But now the 
Flip that was down, your left leg. Okay, get it. It's gonna kick out. Inner th thigh parallel to the ground. Push it out. Two, you can hold on to something if you need to. Four, six, seven. Feel it right here. Nine. Fourteen. Five more. Three. Two. One. Now we're just going up and down. Two. Three. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Woo! Don't hold on me. Fourteen. Four more. Three. Two. And one. Woo! Put that in your obliques too. Be careful. All right, other leg. Oh, I better get this one. Put it down, pick it up. You have to think 
in a positive way. And you need to brush off all the little things that you don't understand. Don't worry about it. Because more than likely, if it has to do with your body, there is a reason. But do you really need to know the reason when it comes to the little things? No. Not the little things. Okay. Two. Three. Four left. Every time you're going to pick it up, drive through that heel. Three more. Three. Because you can pull your back out really easily doing this if you're not engaging the core. ended it. Okay. So, I suggest doing these barefoot or with socks on, whatever you suggest, but not wearing shoes because you're going to get more benefit from doing this when you're extremely flat-footed. So, ready? Actually, I'm going to face this way because it's all based on the timer. We're doing every movement for 30 seconds, okay? So I'll tell you when to switch. I think you can see my entire body. Okay, I'm gonna start with bridges, full range, hit it. You wanna have that core lock the entire time. 
You're not resting at the bottom. Pushing those hips up as high as you can. Body weight in the heels. You should never have your body weight in your toes. I don't care what you've heard. That puts so much strain on your knees, especially during squats. Okay, we're pulsing and go. Keep it high. Remember, not fast, just half the range of motion. Make sure you're breathing. Ten seconds. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. Scoot your feet together. Full range. Moving our feet apart together, further out, further in, is just going to hit a different angle and different section of the hamstrings and glutes. You are strengthening your lower back as well, so you should be feeling a little bit of tightness in your lower back, that's normal. And pulsive, but if you feel like your lower back is all you're feeling, that is a good indicator that your core is weak. And I don't mean to say that to be mean, but it's just the truth. You need to just focus on more core engaging movements. Which pretty much everything you do, you can engage your core. So you just need to be more aware of how to do that. Five, four, three, two. Scoot your feet out on your heels, full range. Your range of motion is not going to be as great in this position, FYI, that's normal. Make sure you're breathing, blow that air out every time. Three, two, and pulse it. Keep it going, 15 seconds. 
Keep going, keep going. Five, four, three, two, hold it up. Last thing, all the way in. Squeeze it in. Last movement, you're done. Make it good. Keep that booty high. Fifteen seconds. Squeeze it in. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Woo! Good job, you guys. Pull those knees in. Do whatever stretches you want, but I always like to do a lower back stretch when I'm done with lower body. One leg out. And then I'll let that knee drop across the body, keeping the small of my back down on the floor. Lightly push down on your knee. You should feel the stretch across the lower back and your hip.